And I'm going to go inside and show you some of the, the, the things that we've improved about the interior of the car. Um, as I said, we've really tried to make this the best car in, in every meaningful way, in terms of uh, safety, uh, performance, uh, styling, fit and finish, um, just every little detail. Be being an electric car, it's very quiet, so we have to very, have a, a really good sound system because you can really hear it. It's like a sound studio in here. You know, obviously you get all the terrestrial radio stations, but then of course you can go to the internet and uh, get in a radio station from anywhere in the world. If you want BBC, you want Moscow Radio, you can get anything you want. It's taking a direct stream. Obviously it'll Im uh, integrate seamlessly with your Android or iPhone. Maybe you do want to check something out on the web. Sort of, yeah. It's got a full browser with WebKit, so you can do whatever you want. Um, and <laughs> Um, yeah, it seems like kind of an obvious thing. Why doesn't everyone do this? Um, so we, we, we you know, people are so used to going from their um, people are so used to going from their consumer electronics device to uh, their car, and the car is so f so much further behind. Um, and we wanted to have something where the, the 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 car is actually in some respects ahead of 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 what you have uh, as your computer or. or, or personal electronic device. So the screen we, we have here is actually um, produces a better image than a MacBook Pro. And, and we'll say, well, how do we do that? Well, we just use the same supply chain as MacBook Pro, and then took away the limitations that a laptop has. So a laptop has limitations in contrast, lumens, um, view angle, all intended to consume, uh, reduce consumption of energy. But we've got an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack on, on, this, uh, on this car. So uh, I, I think we calculated you could, you could probably run the computer for about six months. Uh, so we're like, you know, let's, let's get rid of those things and say when you go from your, your laptop to the car, the car's better. No reason for it. No, why not? Um, so, oh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, now let's say that there's, um, you know, you, you, there's nothing you can, in, in your personal selection, you want to try something different. Um, well, that's, that's not a problem. Uh, you, can just, you can just ask for it. Uh, play Rolling Stones. So now it's going, on to, it's going out to Google Voice, uh, doing a, a voice recognition on that, and then going to Slacker and pulling up the Rolling Stones. So like, yeah, I'll take the first selection there. Any song, any band, any time, whatever you want. So. Since we have the power source on all the time, the, the car has a set of heuristics that it's going to obey. So if you go to a really hot or cold place, um, well, there's no reason for you to come back to a frozen car or a baking hot car. The car will just automatically maintain temperature. So for, a couple, for the next couple of hours, it'll say, OK, well, I'll just automatically maintain the temperature at a good temperature. So when you come back from lunch or dinner or whatever, the car is just really comfortable. It has, it has the power source all the time, and it has the energy to do that. Um, it can also learn. Um, so if, you, if it sees that you always come to the car around 8 a.m. every morning, and you usually want the temperature at a certain level, it'll pre-set pre pre the temperature at that level. Um, if it sees that you've been parked at a particular location uh, for a long time, and that's a frequent place that you park, well, it's probably your home or your work. So it should ask you, is this home or work? I mean, these are just sort of basic, obvious things that I think you know, all cars should do. <laughs> like, why don't they do that? <laughs> So, um, and, and then also the, uh, we're going to allow um, a whole series of apps to be developed for the car. So over time, as people come up with, with good ideas and cool things that can be added to the, the car, we can just add it in. If somebody's developed an app for um, an iPhone or an Android phone, um, we, and, and it makes sense to add to the car, we can, we, it's very easy to adapt it for that. So, like. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's basically what, what, what I had to say. I think um, you know, this is what we're going to deliver to you is going to be not just the best electric car, but best car in the world of, of any kind. Um, and uh, um, hopefully, from based on what you see in here, you can get, really get the message out there um, and help be ambassadors for electric cars. I mean, we have a revolution to fight here, um, and we need your help to win that resolution. So thank you. Yeah.